Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Tyrone Southern's Cooking back at you today with another video. Alright, today we're doing something kind of unique today. We're making a German chocolate cake, but this German chocolate cake here is kind of, it's going to be a little different. Uh, it's going to have buttercream chocolate icing on the outside and the German chocolate icing on the inside. I have seen this cake and, and it looks very good and the only way I'm going to know how this cake tastes is by me, by me making it myself. So stay tuned, watch the video, and we all can learn something. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got a lot going on in this kitchen today. Good Lord have mercy. All right, this is my ingredients that we're going to be doing. Uh, I got uh, two cups of coconut here. I got my two cups of cake Don Swan uh, cake flour here. I got two cups of uh, peanuts here. I got to chop them up. I got my egg whites. I got my four egg yolks here. I got my cornstarch. I got my Folgers coffee instant. I also got my some uh, icing that I'm gonna do for the topping. On when I on, on the finishing of the cake, I got my vinegar. I got my evaporation milk. I got my vanilla extract, baking powder, baking soda, five sticks of butter. I got my dark chocolate cocoa here. I got my also I just I just told show you the co uh, coconuts. I got my brown sugar, powdered sugar, uh, and I got my regular sugar here. And I got a cup of milk. And I also got the instant chocolate bars right here. This is going inside the cake and this going into the icing. So, ladies and gentlemen. Stay t stand uh, 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 stand by. We'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what we finna go ahead and do now? We gonna go ahead and do our baking powder and our baking soda. Go ahead and get that situated. We gonna do a teaspoon of baking powder, and we are gonna do a teaspoon of baking soda, and we are gonna do a, a tablespoon. Uh, of our vinegar in our milk as I explained last time about the vinegar and milk when you're using baking soda you need the vinegar to activate the baking soda you ever, I don't know you old people who probably remember this show back in the day they used to have a, a cartoon come on called Wonder Twin Power so the, the Wonder Twin Power here is the vinegar and the baking soda so they come together, they're going to activate. So that's what's going to go on. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to also go ahead and add our, uh, we're going to put a teaspoon of, of, of vanilla extract with our milk as well. So all that will already be added. So we're going to go ahead and put that in the, in the milk. Get that out the way. And we're going to stir that up and sit that off to the side. That's going to be for later. Turn this up. We'll set that off to the side. We're gonna go ahead and oh yeah, I gotta get some salt. Again, doing one eighth for salt. One eighth for salt. We're going to go ahead and we're going to blend this in up and we're going to set this to the side. So stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah, I pulled. Yeah, just stay tuned. All right, now what we're going to go ahead and do now, we're going to go ahead and uh, mix our uh, German chocolate icing up first because it got to sit off to the side and cool off for about a couple of hours. No, not a couple of hours, for about 20 or 30 minutes. Hold on, somebody at the door. Hold on just a minute. Hello? Garage door. Hello? Where you at? Oh, Lord. Y'all won't believe who just showed up. <laughs> oh, boy. What's going on? 
How you doing this morning? I'm good. Yeah? I heard that you was about to make my favorite cake. You did? What kind of cake was that? You say you heard. My chocolate. You, you heard that? Mm -hmm. Oh, no kidding. No kidding. Okay, then. Okay, then. So what you come to what you come to do today? Come to help me out or something? If you need my help, so let me wash my hands in case. Well, I'm going to chop these pecans in up. Y'all stay tuned. We'll be back. I got to chop these pecans up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. We finna start making this, uh, our topping for the, the German chocolate icing itself first. We're going to make that first, and then we're going to set that off to the side. And what we got going in that, we got one cup of brown sugar. We also have two egg yolks, but this is the thing. Now, if I was going to cover the whole cake with the German chocolate icing, it would take a cup and a half of evaporation milk and three egg yolks. But since I'm not covering the whole cake, I'm going to use one cup evaporation milk and only two egg yolks. Okay? So, I, so I'm putting the, that a one cup of evaporation, evaporation milk, one stick of butter, two egg yolks, a cup of brown sugar, a tablespoon of cornstarch, and a half a teaspoon uh vanilla extract and i'm putting two cups of pecan and two cups of coconut so let's get started get my butter melted so what are you doing today paying attention to you paying attention to what i'm doing yeah and um decided to drop by the time you always talking about we and all I ever see is just you. So today on your show, we yeah. actually have a wee. Do you have a wee today? We have a wee today. Okay. Okay, we. <laughs> we, we. We can do a wee today. We can do a wee today. If you're going to allow me to help. I am on your show. But I'm out here to learn, too. I don't, I don't see me making a different type of thing. In no time soon. But I still want to learn. Especially so, when it's from scratch. So what I'm also going to do, I'm going to just go ahead and add my tablespoon of cornstarch. I'm going to add a tablespoon of cornstarch in, in my mix right now. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to add a tablespoon of cornstarch. Now I'm going to add a teaspoon of cornstarch. Not a tablespoon. I'm going to do a teaspoon. One teaspoon of cornstarch into the egg yolk and what that's going to do that's going to thicken up the uh the icing it's going to thicken up the icing some so that's what that's going to do and another spoon so is this your recipe is this your recipe of a new way of doing the german chocolate cake no, it's not actually my recipe i seen it i seen it i seen it on a couple of youtube channels i only seen like two people do it but I, all the other German chocolate uh, cakes are just a regular German chocolate cake, and this and, and that look the, the, with the chocolate icing on the outside, and the German chocolate icing on the inside looked so good to me. I want I said, well, shoot, the only way I'm gonna know how it tastes. I mean, I got to make it for myself. Okay. So that's the only way I'm gonna know how it tastes. So I did. So I looked at this both is of about them. to be your how many videos now? I just be my 91 videos. I know actually on my old channel I got 10 videos on that old channel. But on this channel I got the 90 videos now. And with this video be 91. So really you done did a hundred videos. Yeah, I done did a hundred videos since already. Since October 8th. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go ahead and put our one cup of brown sugar in. And we're gonna stir that. We we stirring this, y'all. Let me bring the camera up a little closer for you can see in the pot. See in the pot. I got to get me a cup of evaporation milk. Okay, let me get me one cup of that. Turn that down. I want the stove too high. 
So what we're doing is we're making the icing first. Yeah, I'm making the icing first because See, you even got me saying we and I'm not doing anything. I just watch it. I'm gonna go so I'm gonna go ahead and put the evaporation milk in. Turn the stove up a little bit more. It's cooking too slow. Uh, stir this. That's the dog on cats. The cats in front of my dog on dog. Make my dog on alert dog. Go ahead and put the four egg, the no, the two egg yolks with the cornstarch in. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's starting to thicken up a little bit now. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and uh, got a little boil to it, turn the stove down. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put our coconuts and our pecan. Go ahead and put our coconut. We're gonna take it off the eye a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and put our pecan in. That's what we got, and as it cool off. The thick is it, it's gonna get thicker. So this ain't got to sit up at least 30 minutes and get cool before you put it on your cake, but it's gonna sit a little longer than that because that's why I'm making it first. No, no, it don't need to be no darker than that. It's gonna get thick, it's gonna get thicker though. As it cool off, it's gonna it's gonna thicken up. So what we're going to do now, we're going to sit this off to the side. We're going to move on to the next step. So what we got going on now, we're going to uh, just stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to what we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and do our egg whites. <laughs> and we have four egg whites that we're going to put in here. And we're going to beat these egg whites up. And this is what we're going to put in the cake to make the cake more fluffy. Mm -hmm. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we got the egg white mixed up. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and take it out of the pot. And we're going to sit this to the side. This right here is going to be mixed up in the cake at the end. And this right here makes the cake even more fluffier. But you know, I have seen some people cook German chocolate cake as well. Where they just use the, uh, it, just to crack the eggs and put it in there. So everybody cook the cakes different. So I'm going to set this here to the side. And we're going to clean this pot out. And we're going, what we're going to do next, we're going to go ahead and melt our chocolate bar. We're going to put it in the microwave for one minute. Melt our chocolate bar. And you're using Baker's German sweet chocolate. No, this ain't sweet, huh? It says here. It says sweet, though. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be sweet, don't it? It's Baker's. German sweet chocolate. Okay. Well, anyway, we're going to go ahead. We're going to break this up a little, a little bit. This candy bar heat we got here. No, that's going in. That's going on the, uh, that's going on the, uh, the butter, butter, uh, buttercream icing. So we're going to break this up, we're going to melt it in there, and we're going to come right back to you. So stay tuned, we'll be back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we just got our chocolate out the uh, microwave, sitting a minute. What we're doing now, we're stirring it up. 
and just gotta cool down a little bit. Then what we're gonna do as we are doing our putting our batter in, we're gonna add this as well. So stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start mixing our, uh, our, our cake batter over here. And I can't bring uh, bring it closer because I, I just heated the stove. The stove is hot, so I can't sit the camera on top of that stove. So I'm gonna have to do it from over here. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add these two sticks of butter in in, in the pot. Get the two sticks of butter. We're going to add our four egg yolks. Not yet. And what happened with the chocolate? What happened with the chocolate when I just put it in the microwave and, and, and uh, heated it up? I had to come back and add a little water with it because it had got, got hot water with it. I had to heat some hot water up in the microwave and add some with it because it got stiff again. So I got it loose the way it's supposed to be. So we'll do that. We'll work with that later. It'll stay like it's supposed to stay. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and mix up this. Uh... Stay tuned. Now we're finna straight beside our bowl. bowl. Then we're going to add our sugar, our two cups of sugar. Then we're gonna get let this beat up until it get fluffy. This is gonna take about five or six minutes for this to take place. So stay tuned until we get this beat up and fluffy, and we'll be back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we wanted. We wanted our batter here to be fluffy, and it's real fluffy. This is what you want. You want your batter to be fluffy like this right here. All right. 